Hello friends, how's it going? Today I have these two awesome tin Pokeballs. We've got the new Great Ball and the Luxury Ball, so let's get into them. So here's our Great Ball without the plastic on it. I really love how these look in metal, but the metal is very thin, so I don't know if you can see it with the glare there, but there's a dent right here, and that actually happened when I got back from the store even, so not even in the store. I got these from GameStop. I was really surprised to see them a couple weeks, or one week, before they were actually supposed to be out in terms of street date, and they didn't flag it in the system, so I was able to buy it anyway, so that is exciting. So we've got an Alolan Ninetales coin with the super cool disco ball uh, shattered glass sort of idea that is really, really nice to see. Those were in blisters recently, so I'm sure they just had some extras lying around. And then we've got a weird smattering of sets. We've got Steam Siege, Sun and Moon Base, and then Guardians Rising, so I guess we'll open them in that order. It's really too bad that Steam Siege is in these balls, because it makes them almost worth less than uh, than I would reasonably pay for three packs. Uh, it's a little bit more than I would enjoy paying, but we did get some cool Sun and Moon sets that we haven't opened recently, so that is cool. So we've got an Anorith, a Clauncher, a Fletchling, Hopip, Sneasel, Mantine, a hop of reverse, and then a rare. Oh wow, we got a Steelix EX full art. Okay, well that we'll, we'll just redact everything we said about value because a Steelix EX full art is something that I did not have in my collection, and that is really really cool. Look at his angry eye, that is awesome. Well, a great first pack. We got some first pack magic. Let's see if we can get some more magic with our Sun and Moon base pack as I hit the camera there. Uh, I'm having so many problems opening things recently, it is a little bit worrisome because I think I'm losing control of everything. So we've got a Pokemon Catcher, a Metapod, a Torcat, Rowlet, Torkoal, Zubat, Grubbin, Growlithe, a Passimian Reverse, which is very nice with that team play. I don't even know if that's still good anymore. And then a rare is a Golduck Non-Hollow. I, I say this almost every video, but I am so behind on the meta in the trading card game that I don't even know what's really popular right now. I think Zekrom and Pikachu GX is popular. Those uh, Tag Team GX box or tins just recently came out uh, to date this video, and I really, really love how they look. They are awesome, and they come with that metal GX counter and everything. So we got a Snow Run, a Pancham, Bell Sprouts, Cottony, a Alolan Bullpix Reverse, which is nice, and then our rare is a Delmize uh, Hollow. That is really, really cool. It was almost hard to tell that it was a Hollow for a second. These Hollows are so deceptive sometimes. Now on to our awesome Luxury Ball. I really love how the Luxury Ball works, and this white part is like either rubber or plastic. It feels kind of weird against the metal of the rest of it, but you know, whatever. It still looks really sweet. So we've got the same packs as before. We've got Steam Siege, Guardians Rising, and Sun and Moon Base, and then we've also got the same Alolan Ninetales coin. It's too bad they don't have more of a variety of coins in these. I do really love seeing new and exciting coins, but uh, seeing the same ones over and over again is a little disappointing. So we've got our Steam Siege pack here with a Eveltal break on the front. I've seen a Trevenant break is coming back in Expanded. I think that's a little funky. Oh, this is this is a. XY pack, so we're not going to be doing four. So we've got a Nidoran Mail, a Litleo, Sneasel, Meryl, Yanma, Halucha, Duwat, Steelix Spirit Link, and oh, hey, we got a Xerneas to break. That is really cool. I, I do already have this. I have most of the cards in Steam Siege, but it is always cool to see a break. And then we've got a Weavile non hollow. Very cool there. I do love Weavile as a Pokemon. I just recently evolved a Sneasel into Weavile into, in my Pokemon Go game. Uh, I had this really weird drought of Sinnoh stones when everybody else was getting them, uh, and I felt kind of left out, but now I have like four extras, so that's nice. So we've got a Water Energy, a Crocker Rock, Energy Retrieval, Wishy Washy, Caterpie, Paris, Young Goose, Shelder, Zubat, and a Raquanid Reverse, which is not a rare, and then a rare is a Toucanon non hollow. So this ball has not been as awesome as the first one, but since we did get a full art in the first one, I guess that does kind of make up for it. So. Here we go with our Guardians Rising and our last pack of this six pack opening. We're hoping for something nice here. It's always nice to get something nice, uh, but you never know. So we've got a Gothitelle, that's the rare. I totally screwed up the pack trick somehow, but uh, here it is. <laughs> I don't think I had that Gothitelle yet, actually. So uh, we've got a Steel Energy, an Aqua Patch, a Vanillish, Clefairy, Rockruff, Barboach, a Lolan Geodude, Fletchling, and Machamp Reverse Rare. So at least we're ending on a high note there. So in total, out of six packs, we actually did get some pretty cool stuff. We got a Machamp Reverse Rare, a Delmise Hollow, and then, of course, our beautiful Steel 
Felix EX Full Art. You didn't really expect to see anything good from Steam Siege, but I guess they're still printing some nice cards. So I'll give you guys a Guardians Rising booster code. Comment and let us know what you got so that we know that you've taken it. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.